Senator Coons. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Uh, let me make sure this is on. Mr. Chairman. Um, Uh, Mr. Rosenstein, thank you um, for your testimony today and for your service. Uh, we have some important questions in front of us. As we know, President Trump uh, has often repeatedly and loudly called the entire Russia investigation a witch hunt. But Inspector General Horowitz found the FBI had an authorized purpose when it opened Crossfire Hurricane, which was grounded in protecting our national security and investigating federal crimes. Do you agree with that conclusion? Yes, I do. Um, do you believe the whole Russia investigation was a fraud and a witch hunt? No. In your oversight role over the special counsel's investigation. I'm not sure it's on. <laughs> uh, see if you can get him a new mic there. Can you get, is my microphone working at all? We'll try that one. Thank you very much. Excuse me, let me try again. Is there that much go. better? If I might, Mr. Chairman, I'm just going to start again. Absolutely. Thank you. Um, Mr. Rosenstein, thank you uh, for your testimony and for your service uh, and for your appearance before us today. Uh, President Trump has called the Russia investigation a witch hunt, which um, is in sharp contrast with Inspector General Horowitz, who concluded that the FBI had an authorized purpose when it opened Crossfire Hurricane which was grounded in protecting our national security and investigating federal crimes. Do you agree with that conclusion? I agree with uh, Inspector Horowitz's conclusion, yes, sir. In your oversight role uh, over Special Counsel Mueller's investigation, did you ever raise a concern about the appropriateness of the investigation and prosecution of Michael Flynn? I was not aware of any reason to question the appropriateness at that time. Y you were the acting attorney general for that investigation. Did you approve of his guilty plea? Yes, sir, based on my understanding that the evidence demonstrated his guilt and he and his attorneys admitted his guilt. Um, did you ever raise any concerns about whether Flynn's false statements were material to the FBI's national security investigation? I was not aware of any issue. And are you aware of any precedent for the Department of Justice moving to dismiss a case after a defendant pled guilty to lying to the FBI? I, I don't know the answer to that, Senator. There may be. I, I'm, I'm not personally aware, but... Uh, the department certainly has moved to dismiss cases in the past. You authorized filing the indictment in the Roger Stone case as well, correct? Correct. And a jury convicted Roger Actually, Stone let me, of the seven uh, felony if, counts. If I could just clarify, I believe that, uh, I don't believe I was acting attorney general at the time the Stone case was filed, so I was certainly aware of it, but I don't know that I, uh, uh, as a legal matter, I don't know that I authorized it. In any event, a jury ultimately convicted Roger Stone of seven felony counts in the indictment. Um, do you think Roger Stone committed those crimes of which he was convicted? Based upon the jury's verdict, yes. And in the Roger Stone case, career prosecutors filed a sentencing motion, and the political leadership of the department filed a different motion within a day. The career attorneys then withdrew from the case, and one went further and resigned from the department. Are you aware of any other recent case where political appointees filed a sentencing recommendation that is so markedly different from what career prosecutors had filed? I understand your question, Senator. The only issue I would take with it is that technically every pleading we filed contains the name of the U.S. attorney. Um, you're focusing on whose signature appears on the document, but all those documents are filed in the name of the U.S. attorney, and I considered U.S. attorneys responsible for them. Do you think a president should publicly criticize, question, or attack ongoing Department of Justice investigations? I'm not going to comment on the president, Senator, as I think I've made clear. Uh, I understood the president's frustration. Uh, and I don't think it's my job to comment on how he articulates that. Well, the president has recently referred repeatedly to something he calls Obamagate, uh, which he has repeatedly said is worse than Watergate. And repeated efforts uh, by members of this committee, by journalists, to get any clarity or definition about what Obamagate is uh, have come up without any clarity. Are you aware of any evidence that former President Obama has committed any federal crime? I am not. There's been a lot of discussion in this hearing, in particular, about the Carter Page FISA warrant um, and the findings in the Inspector General's report um, that I think are worthy of concern and focus. Carter Page, though, was not indicted in 
the Mueller investigation, correct? Correct, not indicted and presumed innocent. I think it's unfortunate that that FISA information was leaked. Um, the, in fact, by the end of it, the president's campaign manager, deputy campaign manager, national security advisor, foreign policy advisor, personal attorney, and longtime political strategist were all either convicted of crimes or pled guilty in federal court. You approved of the significant investigative steps in those cases and approved the filing of those charges. Is that correct? As I said, I don't know that uh, I was there for the last one, but uh, uh, I believe all the charges that were filed were legitimate. And in January 2020, you were quoted in the Washington Post saying, certainly in retrospect, there are things I might have done differently, but I think we got all the big issues right. Do you still think that you got the big issues right? Yes, sir. And I, I wasn't referring just to Russia. There were a lot of big issues, obviously, and uh, I believe we did, we being the team we had in place at the department, uh, that uh, I believe we got the big issues right. Well, I'll just close by saying, um, you know, I too am questioning uh, the scope and the reach uh, of the dedication of time of this committee to reinvestigating what I think Inspector General Horowitz has thoroughly investigated. Um, we are in the middle of three simultaneous national crises, uh, a public health epidemic, an economic um, sharp, short downturn, and understandable nationwide protests uh, inflamed by anger at the uh, brutal and public killing of George Floyd at the hands of Minneapolis police. There are many other pressing issues uh, that I hope this committee will soon turn to, and I appreciate your testimony before us today. Thank you, Senator.